a certain person I've wanted to know the face of for a while and what he has been doing, I finally find out what he's been doing and what he's going to be doing next Monday because I am excited to say that the creator of a certain series that I'm holding right now and people know it's that Claymore and if people know I have a very soft spot for this manga I fucking love it like I really enjoy it. is finally after quite a long time finally gonna be having his own manga back now as he's now gonna be doing a one shot in Shonen Jump and I am really goddamn excited about this if people don't know being titled Gecko no Arcadia and this is going to be a one shot. I have to say this is not a brand new series from the guy. There hasn't going to be anything planned so far. But they are going to be doing a one shot for this one. And it's going to be coming out Monday. And I'm looking forward to this because we haven't had anything from this guy for a while now. Like ever since the ending of Claymore. Which by the way as I'm holding the 27 volumes that came out over here. That this put out in this gorgeous like box set. Like, I think I've like shown this maybe like once or twice but trust me guys and all that this is like a really enjoyable manga i'd highly recommend it and it's honestly a gorgeous box set and it's so good to finally see that this guy is gonna finally get another shot like i as i'm checking the article like it's been a couple of years since he's actually done anything since like it's been since the like right about the early 2014 that he ended claymore so i'm very curious about this since like it's been a while and I'm surprised he didn't jump back on it. And the fact that I'm wondering kind of what he's actually got in store now after Claymore. And the fact that it's going to be a science like fantasy uh, story and all that. I'm very much looking forward to this. And his artwork seems to have changed or at least he's going for a lighter tone for it. Because the characters, as you can clearly see, look quite a lot different from Claire from this series. And same thing with like Rocky as well. Like, I like, don't think they really resemble like very young Rocky. But I'm curious to see what exactly he's got in mind there. And that, the fact that... Claymore was a pretty uh, dark series for it, and it's a shame that it didn't blow up as much as it probably could have. Like, I think if Claymore came out more in a today's audience, where the fact that now nowadays and all that monthly manga just then wasn't popular, it just wasn't a thing. The only thing to talk about was weekly stuff, and now that we finally got stuff, you know, not only weekly, but monthly stuff can get popular as well. Like, I mean, Attack on Titan, do I need to say anything more about that? Like... Now the fact that we've got way more monthly and even bi-monthly mangas that are now popular and like really in the audience and all that. I feel like maybe if there was in our in a, uh, current days audience stuff like when Blue Exorcist like kind of started like popping around. Same thing with Seraph at the end. I feel like Claymore would have been in a much better time at that point. So we'll see. It's going to have 49 pages. It's going to have a color. Like, and I'm looking forward to it. It's just straight up like this is I'm actually generally just looking forward to this. I don't have to think of like, I can't, oh yeah, I wonder what, like, you know, great writing, because Claymore, like, I'm going to be honest here, didn't have, like, this godsend writing, it was just aw an awesome action series, it just was enjoyable, had a nice couple of twists here and there, the ending, eh, a little shaky on that, a little shaky on the ending itself, but I still had fun, and I don't regret every penny I put towards buying the entire manga, and it's worth it, and I would definitely recommend a couple of people to give this shot if you're into the mood of like some dark shonen. And definitely, I would recommend the anime as well uh, until it starts going into filler, which I think is literally the last two episodes of the series. But the, the anime is awesome, and as well, the manga is great as well. So I can't recommend it enough. You guys better check out some fucking Claymore. Trust me, I did. It's worth it. And I'm definitely looking forward to Gecko Noah Arcadia as well. So check that out. That's all for me. What do you guys think about this one shot coming out? Are you excited? Do you know the career of Claymore at all? Tell me what you think and all that. But that's all for me. Thank you very much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys though next time.